Welcome to the video tutorial on how to configure PageGate to deliver messages through Amazon Web Services' Simple Notification System, also called AWS SNS. Before you begin, you will need an AWS account that has been given permission to access the SNS system, and you will also need to create an access key with associated secret access key ID for PageGate to use. Specific steps on how to do that can be found both in PageGate and in Amazon Web Services documentation. Once you have your account and access keys, run PageGate Admin. Right-click Carriers and select Add. For the carrier name, we really could use anything, but let's keep it straightforward and use AWS SNS. And then we'll want to set the protocol to the same. For the host field, you'll want to reference the Amazon SNS documentation for a server in your region. The endpoint value is what you will use in the host field. Examples are um, sns.us-east-1 and sns.us-west-2, um, though again, use whatever server is appropriate for the region you're in. Set max characters to 160, and click Apply to add the new delivery method. Now we'll need to provide the security credentials, and to do that, we'll go to the Carriers, AWS SNS, Advanced section. Enter the Access Key ID value in the Username field, and enter the Secret Access Key value in the Password field. If you don't have these values, you'll need to go through the necessary steps in your AWS account to create them, and again, steps to do that can be found both in PageGate and in the Amazon Web Services documentation. Now that we've told PageGate how to deliver messages through Amazon Web Services SNS, here's how to create recipients tied to that method of delivery. You'll want to right-click Recipients and select Add. Give the recipient a name. It can be anything you like and is largely arbitrary in most cases. Now, the recipient field will automatically populate, but can be edited and may only contain alphanumeric characters, underscores, and dashes. If you're integrating with a CAD system or something like it, you'll want to make sure that this value matches what those systems will call on. For example, if your system is calling on 0908, you want to make sure that the recipient value is 0908 regardless of what you use for the full name. Set type to normal, and set carrier to AWS SNS. For information on the failover field, have a look in the failovers and failover scenarios section of our documentation. Enter the cell phone number, including country code, in the ID slash pin field. As an example, for messaging in North America, you must provide the 1 in front of the phone number. This is incredibly important to note, as the SNS treats the first character of the phone number as the country code. You can unintentionally send international SMS if you don't provide the 1. So, this would be correct, but this would be incorrect. For max characters, specify the number of characters you want the ability to send to this recipient. If this value is higher than the carrier's max characters value, PageGate will break up long messages into multiple blocks. Once finished, click Apply. This concludes the video tutorial on how to configure PageGate to send messages through AWS SNS. For more information, including how to configure failover systems in PageGate, have a look at our documentation and video tutorial library.